This drawing is continued from Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Dial Plan Build Overview Part 1. Part 1 provided an overview of this playbook and looked at whiteboarding the solution. Dial Planned End User Training, or your Cisco phone, calling, forwarding, and mobility. If we can't explain how our collaboration solution works, we are in big trouble. We have a requirement for end user training. We need to explain to users how their Cisco collaboration solution works. If users don't understand how things work, then we are not facilitating collaboration. If we can't explain how things work, then there's something wrong with our dial plan. We can explain our dial plan, and we did. Our end user training drawing has six parts, phone basics and what's my number, and how do people call me? The basics of placing and answering calls. External calling, speed dials and call lists. Forwarding from your Cisco phone. About mobility and calling from your roaming phone. And forwarding from your roaming phone. See for yourself at our website. How do you explain your Cisco collaboration solution to your users? What does your end user training look like? The best possible dial plan isn't the best if we can't build it. How can we document the dial plan build? How do we test it? We want the shortest path to the best result. We use two types of documents for the dial plan build. Configuration playbooks provide complete instructions for configuring and testing the 10-site Enterprise 20 dial plan build, including a timeline. And configuration spreadsheets that provide the information you need for all of the steps in the configuration playbooks. We also provide BAT files for importing test phones and BAT file solutions for the playbooks. It wouldn't be comprehensive if we didn't include a test suite. All the configuration information you need is presented on tabs in the Configuration Information Spreadsheets for each playbook. The tabs are arranged in the order in which you configure them. You should be able to configure the solution using the spreadsheets by themselves. The Configuration Spreadsheets have tabs with tables to indicate tests and results for each site. We test things as quickly and efficiently as we can. The Enterprise 20 Dial Plan build looks at the most efficient order for configuring your Cisco CUCM dial plan. We adjusted the order a little bit to break the tasks up and allow for testing the rollout in stages. We timed the dial plan build to give you an idea of the effort involved. Here are the playbooks and the timeline. Two days to deploy the dial plan? Are we crazy? We don't think so. If you just want dial tone, you can deploy a dial plan much faster. If you want to facilitate collaboration, then things will take a bit longer. Two days is actually ambitious for the Enterprise 20 deployment. It took us two days, but we have a custom lab designed for testing, and we've done this many, many times. We also didn't include time for correcting problems with failed tests. We focused on facilitating collaboration. We focused on deploying a dial plan that users can understand. How much time gets spent explaining? Probably more time than it takes to do things right in the first place. What about speeding up our business processes? That's a vital component of our ROI on collaboration. We speed up business processes by maximizing reachability. When calls succeed on the first try, everything happens faster. Imagine if all our work saves our users just 12 minutes a month on average. If we have 200 users, that's a total of one man week a month. That's 12 man weeks each year. All the content is organized on our website and available for download by our subscribers.
You can see the final CUCM configuration online. Web browse to this address. Log in using username Looksee and the password, which changes over time. Get the current password here. Many lists can be sorted based on description. Here's how the whiteboard drawings and configuration playbooks go together. We created a lab to use to test our solution and experiment with options. You can download and build the lab yourself. The ABA Multi-Site Collaboration Lab was designed to run the playbooks for the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build and all future collaboration application playbooks. You can use the lab to help prepare for certification for CCNA collaboration, CCNP collaboration, or CCIE collaboration. Or, if you just need to do your job, facilitate collaboration and get the best return on investment for your Cisco collaboration solution. You can build this lab yourself. Enterprise 20 has 10 sites across Canada. We need to route calls out local gateways at each site. Dialing is different at different sites. Users roam between sites. Users have multiple devices, including devices outside the enterprise. We want to maximize reachability, and we need a dial plan our users can understand. We started with 10 sites. Each site has its own DID range to illustrate different aspects of internal dial plan design and configuration and incoming call handling, local 7 and 10 digit dialing corresponding to the real world site. The extensible multi-site PSTN simulation can be modified and extended. The Multi-Site Collaboration Lab provides simulated PSTN connectivity, allowing a comprehensive dial plan to be built for Enterprise 20. Each site can dial many different kinds of numbers. Emergency, service codes, home NPA 7-digit, home NPA 10-digit, home NPA toll, long distance, international, toll-free, high risk, and other sites can be dialed. Use the external test phone to test calling to and from and forwarding to outside numbers. Here's the Montreal 57 site external test phone. You can call from Montreal 57 site internal phones to any of these numbers. Every site has its own test phone. Each Enterprise 20 site has two internal test phones. Here's the Montreal site Montreal 57 36001 internal test phone. User Chloe Campbells owns this phone. You can bat in the test phone configurations for each playbook. Internal test phones are configured with a wide variety of numbers that can be dialed using abbreviated dialing to facilitate testing. These numbers are for the Vancouver 59 site internal test phones. The Multi-Site Collaboration Lab provides an environment for extensive experimentation and testing. Enterprise 20 deploys a comprehensive variable length on net dial plan, overlapping extensions at different sites, non-permissive dialing for 7 and 10 digit local numbers, site to site calling via the PSTN, TEHO, type of number digit manipulation, and global transformations and E.164 routing regions and locations, automated alternate routing and call forward unregistered, extension and device mobility, mobile connect or single number reach, and more. All you need to build the multi-site collaboration lab and run the playbooks are two VMs and some phones. On the left is the Enterprise 20 cluster. We run the Enterprise 20 playbooks on this cluster and use the multi-site PSTN simulation for testing. On the right is the multi-site PSTN simulation cluster.
a 10-site simulated PSTN. We test phones to use to test the Enterprise 20 dial plan. We use different kinds of trunks to connect the clusters. Enjoy the free content available on our website. Subscribe and get access to all the Enterprise 20 dial plan build value add. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.